Pankaj Gautam, uh, Institute of Science and Technology in Korea. And the title of the talk is Ultra Low Power Utility uh, Metrics Multiplier Based on Silicon Photonic Mates. Looking forward to your talk. Uh, okay, thank you very much for introductions. And my name is Tong. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. My name is Tong Kim from Digist in South Korea. Uh, in this presentation, I'm going to talk about uh, ultra uh, low power neutral matrix multiplier based on silicon photonic MEMS. A matrix, matrix multiplier, a uh, linear transformer, is widely uh, researched in integrating photonic platform, as you can see in these sessions. Uh, there have a uh, various application like a neural network and quantum photonics and, and RF signal processing and others. Uh, and there is a, a various modulation mechanism like summer optic method and the electric optics and piezo optic mechanism and also the MAMS. Uh, in the scalable of photonics, there are some bottlenecks in, uh, in, uh, in bottlenecks and uh, so we have to solve some uh, uh, scale down uh, unicells and solve some electrical power consumption and uh, consider some optical losses. Uh, let me introduce the some reported metrics multiplier and uh, 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 the MIT groups and some other groups uh, shows the, the linear transformations uh, by using the summer optimal modulations. And it, it has uh, some uh, um, drawback that it has a million scale power consumptions. Uh, and one of the uh, solve this problem is the using of the piezo mechanical modulations, and it shows the nano scale the power consumption, and it can operate in the cryogenic operation, but uh, it has a, a large footprint. And the uh, Jose Kemenis group uh, reported a uh, recirculating method of uh, program of photonics, but in terms of the linear transformation, it's uh, not straightforward. Uh, one of the solution is for the scalable matrix multiplier is uh, using MEMS. And here we introduce uh, the MEMS-based unitary matrix multiplier. You can see the scanning on the left side. Uh, and up on the right side for microscopic image. Uh, typically, the unitary gate is uh, consists of the one MGI for the body distribution that, and uh, on, another page for the page. page. Uh, our system only needs uh, one page shifter and one tuner coupler. Uh, let me see some detail of the uh, elements. The first uh, MEMS tuner coupler, the left figure shows the SCM image of our uh, device. Uh, as you can show in the middle, uh, it's the uh, cross sections, a schematic of the cross section of our device. The, the waveguide is placed in parallel. And one of the waveguides is attached to the MEMS actuator. And in this actuator, uh, is the lifted by about one micrometer uh, out of plane by the metal stress deposited, uh, deposit. Uh, when we apply the BIOS, BIOS TD actuator, the, <coughs> the static. Uh, the electric pulse, uh, electrostatic pulse between the, the fixed comb and mobile comb uh, get uh, close to uh, to state uh, in parallel state, and we can by uh, uh, modulate the displacement of the two wave guide. We can control the, the splitting ratio of the two ports. Uh, you can see on the right side that it is a simulation simulated result of optical transmission. Uh, we can achieve a full zero to hundred percent tuning while we just do uh, a one micron meter displacement. Uh, next one is the, the MEMS phase shifter. For the phase shifters are also based on the MEMS. Uh, you can see the left SEM image. Uh, we use a typical comb drive type uh, actuator at this time. Uh, at the shuttle, the movable part, uh, narrow silicon beam is attached, and when we apply the bias voltage to the actuator, the silicon beam gets close to the waveguide. And it is called the effective exchange, and right figure shows the simulated results of the phase shifter. Uh, <coughs> uh, rest, uh, 
uh, compare the effective index in the initial state and which indicate the 200 nanometer and the, the two pi phase shift and uh, in 50 uh, nanometer, uh, the, the index index is about uh, the index difference is about uh, point, uh, point zero 0.02 uh, and uh, by this we can achieve the two pi shift only a 100 micrometer uh, phase shifter. Uh, our device is fabricated in a uh, uh, 200 millimeter SY vapor using a conventional lithography process except the uh, uh, vapor H to release for the MEMS movement. Uh, the right shows the measurement setup for the characterization of our devices. Uh, we use a fiber wave block for use the coupling with the grating coupler on the chip uh, that is used for the IO port of the system. Uh, the first, the tunable coupler is characterized uh, for the optical response. We achieved a, the analogical response with 0 to 100% per coupling ratio, as you can see the left figure. And for the time response, uh, the on state speed is uh, about 3.26 microsecond, and the off state is 12.4 microsecond uh, is measured. Uh, for the electrical power consumption, as the, our title is, the title of this work is ultra low power. Uh, for the nine voltage tuning, uh, we only use a, a 20, 25 per eight picojoule. Uh, and the static power consumption is less than 0 0.03 uh, microwatts. And the actual expect that is the steady, steady power consumption is less, much less than that reported one uh, because it, it is limited by the minimum measurement current of our current meter. Uh, <clears throat> for the measure the page page shifters response uh, we we first in uh, equal, uh, <clears throat> uh, we the equal amount of power optical power is inserted into the two input ports and the uh, relative page is, is set to the combine all power to a uh, one port with external page shifter uh, then we apply the bias voltage to the page shifter in the two by two gates and we can, we can say that we can achieve the pi phase shift and the optical power totally go to the other ports and another two pi phase shift, pay, two pi phase shift and the optical power goes to the original port again. Uh, so now we cascade to the unit cell of uh, some algorithm, uh, Clemens's methods for scale up and it was well explained to the invite talk speaker. Uh, the rectangular mesh has a benefit in the optical loss balance and the phase accumulations that uh, Rex, uh, than the Rex methods, the triangular one. Uh, we also put some dummy cell for the, these, re these, re uh, reason, <coughs> these re reasons, and we uh, demonstrate only the three by three uh, matrix multiplier here, but uh, for the scaling up, uh, just put another the unit cell in here. Uh, here we demonstrate some unitary matrix configuration using our uh, devices. Uh, left one, the, the, the identical matrix, uh, it shows uh, around uh, 40 dB extinctions for uh, the, uh, between the ports. And the passive configurations are currently limited by the manual electrical probing, and we are now trying to have uh, some wire bonding, and uh, this can help us make uh, any unitary matrix that we want. Uh, for a summary, uh, we demonstrate a two by two unitary matrix uh, multiplier based on the silicon photonic MEMS. Uh, for a tunable coupler, uh, the analogical response uh, to zero to 100 percent is acquired, and we show some micro scale operation time. Uh, and we report it uh, zero point uh, point three microwatt static power consumptions. And uh, the, for the MEMS page shifter, we can achieve the two pi page shift at a 7.8 voltage. And some uh, so three by three unitary matrix configuration also demonstrated. And so for the future work, uh, we are trying to scale up the devices and the optical and electrical packaging uh, is ongoing now. Uh, this work has been done by the collaboration with the Professor Gyeongshik Yus Group at KAIST. And the, this work is supported by the Samsung Science and Technology Foundations. 
And I'm very, uh, thanks to my colleague also, and thank you for the listening. Well, thank you for the interesting talk. Now it's open for questions. I also welcome the online audience to ask questions as well. Questions to the speaker. Well, um, yeah, I have a question about the phase shifter. Uh, do you see any issues with repeatability? Maybe have you tried to do some cycling? Spiking? Uh, uh, cycling to repeat the measurements multiple times. Ah, ah yeah, yeah. We uh, we also worry about that, and so we test it uh, about a billion times. Okay. Yeah, it doesn't matter anything. So. Okay, thanks. Yeah. Yeah, the questions. Hello, uh, thanks for the very interesting talk. Uh, I want to ask uh, what is the insertion loss of the phase shifter? Because it seems originally it, it's more like a gap mode. Uh, and then when you move it away, then it becomes a waveguide mode. So I'm wondering what is the loss there. Um, hold a second. Yeah. Uh, the main uh, loss of phase shifter is the, the abrupt, abrupt junction for the waveguide and uh, propagate waveguide and the phase shifter. As you can see, the SCM image, we put some, some bending on them, and uh, we, uh, so we can reduce the, the, the losses. And uh, the exact data is uh, undisclosed now, so okay. I can Thank uh, you. measure that, yeah. Any other questions? So the main session normally is quite slow, so is that a issue for your application, or also can you increase in the speed as well? Like, uh yeah but the as you know the mems has some some trade off uh, between the the stiffness of the spring so uh, we can make more faster than this structure but uh, it requires more higher voltage than yeah mm -hmm. okay. no one last questions not that fancy speaker again So the next contributor talk is by uh, Gordon Lee by uh, Caltech. And the title of the talk is All Optical Ultrafast Energy Efficient Relu Functions for Nanophotonics Neural Network. 